Hi, it's Jamie from Gilbrook Farm and I'm going to share with you how I save a ton of money on lunches. There are a lot of situations where you might have to eat lunch away from the home. So situations like uh, going to work or your spouse going to work, kids going to school, um, you're going on play dates, or um, you're going to visit grandma's house for the holidays. In all these situations, um, a lot of times you're strapped to come up with some sort of lunch idea for yourself or your kids. So you go to the grocery store and you go shopping and you're walking down the aisles and you see all these cute little convenience items, little containers of applesauce or um, little squeezy pouches of yogurt, um, little tiny boxes of raisins and they look so convenient. You know how quick it is to just grab one of those and throw them in those lunches and your lunch is done in a second. But what you don't realize is you're paying for that packaging. You're paying a lot of money for that packaging. Um, and I'm gonna share with you a couple examples of just how much money you're spending on those little tiny convenience packages. So one item that is in a lot of school lunches, um, even a lot of adult lunches, is applesauce. Um, let's just take Mott's for example. So Mott's applesauce, you go to the store and you see those little cute six packs of Mott's applesauce. And they run about $1.98 for a six pack. That's about 12 cents per ounce. Doesn't sound like a lot, does it? But if you buy the big container of Mott's applesauce, the same exact stuff, it's a 48, 48 ounce bottle, that costs $2.68. That's five cents per ounce. So if you were to buy 48 ounces of the small little packages, it would cost you an additional $3.08 because you're buying that uh, special small packaging. $3.08 for the same size as the large container. Pretzels is another great example. Those little tiny bags of pretzels, uh, sometimes they come in the convenient little, say, 100 calorie packs. Um, Snyder's is, a, is one that always has out little packs of pretzels. Snyder's pretzel packs, the 10 packs, um, are $3.83 for uh, a 10 pack. And that comes out to be about 42 cents per ounce. Now, if you buy the uh, same type of pretzel, in the larger bag, the 12 ounce bag, that cost you $2.98, it's 25 cents per ounce. So if you were to buy 12 ounces of pretzels in the little tiny uh, small packages, you're gonna spend an additional $2.06 just for the small packages. Another one's yogurt. Um, like Chobani is a popular one that a lot of people eat. Um, so Chobani Greek yogurt, if you buy the little individual packs, they're, uh, they're about 5.3 ounces. $1.20 per individual one, it's about 23 cents per ounce. Um, and if you buy the big container of Chobani Greek yogurt, 32 ounces, it's $5.99, which is 19 cents per ounce. Again, uh, if you were to buy 32 ounces of the small containers, you're gonna spend an, ad an additional $1.37 uh, for 32 ounces worth of yogurt. And one last one is raisins, uh, sun-made raisins. Those little six packs, are $1.98 for a six pack, which is 33 cents per ounce. Um, if you would buy the big container of sun-made raisins, they're, it's a 20 ounce package, it's $3.62, that's 18 cents per ounce. And again, you are paying an additional $2.98 for that same amount of raisins, only for the convenience of the small packs. So those four items alone, which a lot of people eat in a typical week, would cost you an additional $9 and 49 cents just for the smaller size package. Now, for a lot of people, uh, they make around $10 an hour. Some make less, some make more. But if you think about that, every week, you're spending an additional $9 and say 49 cents, and that's just four items, on convenience packaging. That's like an additional hour in the office. Uh, that's an additional hour, um, driving a truck, uh, that's an additional hour doing paperwork, whatever it is that you do for work. If you guys work from home, uh, maybe you sell eggs on the farm. That's an additional two to three dozen eggs you have to sell every week uh, just in order for that to have that convenience packaging. Now you multiply that over the course of a year and you could potentially be working an extra week and a half just for convenience packaging. So if that's not enough inspiration for you, um, I don't know what else is because that that is a lot of extra work just to have little convenience packaging. So what do you do? Well, one thing that we like to do here is uh, we pack our own lunches. And what we use is something called a bento box. 
Um, what I have behind me here is the bento box system that we use. Now, what a bento box is, um, is it's a it's basically a Japanese lunch box that was traditionally used by field workers um, as far back as like the 1500s. So workers that went out in the field that wouldn't be able to come back home for lunch would take their lunches, their rice, their beans, their meat in a little tiny bento box out in the field. And that's kind of how they got started. Now these bento boxes have evolved into uh, an actual work of art. Uh, if you go to Japan today, or even if you see pictures online of bento boxes today, um, it, the food is arranged like a work of art. Some of them are created in the shapes of um, anime characters or uh, pictures with seagulls or trees or flowers or pandas. They're amazing works of art. We don't do that here. Um, but we do use the bento box system in order to save us money because when you get a system like this, and it doesn't even have to be a system, you can just get a whole bunch of little containers and put them in a lunchbox, um, you're able to pack leftovers from the night before. Whatever you had for dinner, um, just throw it in one of these containers and you're good to go. Um, anything you need, soup, whatever you want, just pack it in these little containers and you're saving tons of money. You buy those big bags of, of uh, pretzels, you buy the big containers of yogurt, um, the applesauce, they're going to fit in these containers. Your raisins can fit in these little containers, whatever you need. And uh, you don't have to worry about paying that extra money for all that prepackaged food. So uh, this is what we use. We use the bento system. This is, this is a particular brand called Bentgo. I think we got this probably about five years ago. Um, and this system um, comes with, I'll show you what it looks like. It comes with a bag. And it comes with a, a double container with a fork, a knife, and a spoon. And you can put um, your food down here, put the separator in if you like. And there is another little container that goes on top. And you can put the lid on, and it's all held together with a strap. Um, and you can rearrange it however you want. If you only need this section, and you just put it together like that. Um, it also comes with uh, a little cup for milk or yogurt or applesauce or whatever you want. Um, Art is pretty used. It's a little stained inside from sauce or something, soups. Um, it has a little rubber ring inside it so that it you know doesn't spill. And we got these cute little containers for condiments. Uh, we use them for salad dressing. I stuff them with raisins, little snacky foods. Um, yes, I do use these. I love these. So this is, anytime we're going out of the house uh, for an extended period of time, this is what I pack. Now, uh, I'm going to share with you guys uh, my daughter's, my youngest daughter's favorite meal to eat uh, on the go. And it's called the Oslo meal. Now the Oslo meal um, was a healthy, uh, cold school lunch that was developed uh, sometime around the 1920s by a Norwegian professor who was trying to improve um, the quality of health of children. Um, and he wanted to come up with a school lunch that was uh, that didn't require heating and that was super healthy. And what he came up with was, was what he called the Oslo lunch. Um, it was implemented in schools sometime around 1932 and during uh, World War II uh, it was really popular um, by a lot of other countries in Europe. So what it is, is it's uh, a couple slices of whole wheat bread with margarine on it, uh, one ounce of cheese, a half a pint of milk, uh, and then some raw vegetables, whatever's in season at the time, and sometimes they substitute the vegetables with fruit or had fruit in addition to it, so like half an apple, half an orange. And then sometimes they used uh, cod liver oil as uh, some for some omegas throughout the school year. Now we have a little bit different version of that. Uh, our version is one slice of bread with butter, um, one ounce of cheese, and a cup of whole milk, and then we do a salad, and then we do a vinaigrette that has uh, flaxseed oil in it. So I'm going to show you how we make it. This is again my daughter's favorite meal. It's called the Oslo meal. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is our slices of bread. Um, well, this is gluten-free bread. Uh, I'll show you guys how to make this in probably the next video. I'll probably do two slices.
it in our bento box. Next, we're gonna put in one ounce of cheese. Uh, this is sharp cheddar. My daughter's favorite's actually garlic. I ran out of the garlic. So, she's gonna have to make do with the sharp cheddar. And we'll just put that in there. And next we'll do our salad. Now this was all picked from the garden this morning. And we have some kale and some carrots. Okay, and we're gonna add some carrot tops in there because those are really good for you. Add some carrots on there. Now if we had some cucumbers in season or some tomatoes, I would throw those on as well. Um, but they're not in season right now, so we're just going to use what we have. And um, if you want, you can add on some uh, sunflower seeds or whatever you like. We're just going to keep it like this. Okay, for dressing, I just have an old uh, dressing bottle here that I make my own dressing in, and I just um, fill it up with balsamic or cider vinegar, and then put some olive oil in there, and then some spices, usually some basil, oregano, salt, pepper. Um, and what I always add, uh, they use the cod liver oil. In the Oslo lunch, uh, we use flaxseed oil because it adds a lot of uh, omega-3s, and I just put like about a tablespoon in there, shake it all up, and we'll put it in one of these little condiment containers. Now we have our milk. Okay, now we're just going to assemble this. Um, just put the separator on top. Gotta sort of finagle that to get it to fit together. Just like that. So now you just assemble everything. And in here I have a cute little napkin. If you guys want to know about these, I'll leave a link up above. And this is an extra container. If you wanted to fill it with raisins or something else, um, maybe a piece of chocolate or something, you could do that. Uh, and as far as uh, keeping your milk cool, you can throw in an ice pack. Uh, you can put it on top um, or on the bottom, however you like. So like I said, guys, um, you don't have to use this particular system, this is just the one that we use. The whole idea here is to stop buying your food in those little convenience packages because it really doesn't save you much time. Uh, it doesn't take you much longer to throw things in a container like this than it does to just throw in a box of raisins or a bag of chips. Really, it's not much extra effort. Now, you're going to be out. So at some point, you're gonna find yourself out and you're not gonna have this and you're gonna to need to eat a lunch on the go. Uh, maybe you're traveling up to grandma's for Christmas or uh, maybe you're out at the museum or something like that and you're going to be tempted to stop in at those fast food restaurants or in another restaurant and that's going to cost you, depending on how many people are with you, somewhere in the vicinity of $25, $30 every time you go out. Let me give you a better option, what we do. Whenever we're traveling and we find ourselves uh, without, having a, without having a lunch, we stop in at a grocery store and we get a whole rotisserie chicken and we let the kids pick out whatever fruit they want. Um, if you want, you can get a loaf of bread or whatever else you want in addition to that. 
Sometimes they have like a pack of cookies on, on sale or on clearance or something. Get a couple items like that and it's going to be a whole lot cheaper than, and a whole lot healthier than if you just swung by and picked up a couple burgers and fries. So I hope that's been helpful for you guys. If you guys have any tips or tricks of your own for saving money on lunches, um, leave those below. If you have any questions or comments, leave those below as well. Um, if you like this kind of stuff, like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. You got maple. Considering. Ow. <laughs> she looks like an eagle when she does that.